Women's college hoops in Cullaway between two mountain rivals, UNC Asheville at Western Carolina. Brenda Mock Patrick setting up some plays for the Lady Bulldogs. Stephanie McCormick giving instructions in her first season as a head coach in Cullaway. Pick it up first half, former Franklin Panther Lindsey Simpson buries a three from the corner, one of four three-pointers in the game for Simpson. Later in the first half, it's Simpson again, this time to the top of the key, and the Cats lead by four. The UNC Asheville would dominate the rest of the way. Watch Paige Love. Drives the baseline, nice hesitation, then scores two of her 13 off the glass. The big story, Tiana Knuckles. Big South Player of the Week shows why. Gets the steal, goes coast to coast for the layup. Knuckles scores 15. UNC Asheville beats Western 67-45. Um, UNC Asheville beats Western, you know, it, and that's a great mountain rivalry. It means something to these girls. Obviously, every game we try to treat the same, but this one's a little bit special for us because of that. And then to come on their home court my senior year, me and Tyler's senior year, and beat them by 20, I mean, that's awesome. It was great to catapult us into the next You're game, into the next game, into the next game, and it just built so much confidence. We are really focused on playing team basketball, and that was well executed tonight. Western Carolina men's team follow the ladies hosting Hiawassee College Tigers. Pick it up first half. Torian Brumman, watch the nice move he makes in the post. Little hook shot off the window. Good. Two of his team high 18, Western by five. Later in the game is Justin Browning on defense. Gets the steal. Then he'll find Mike Brown for the breakaway, and Brown will dunk it. He scores 17. The Cats increase the lead to seven. Then Rhett Harrelson passes the ball down low to Jesse Deloach who hits the fadeaway jumper along the baseline. That's nice. Western wins 88-63. Now from the warmth of any place else, we go to the other extreme, the bitter cold of Alaska. That's where the UNC Asheville Bulldogs are spending Thanksgiving week at the Great Alaskan Shootout. Bulldogs played Drexel in the first round on Thanksgiving Day. Of course, it's not all basketball, also a great learning experience for the players. Most, if not all, have never been to this part of the world. Looks like one thing they're going to learn about, though, is cold weather. Bundle up and some wildlife. For me, I'd be wondering which way to the hotel. But for the players... <laughs> Beautiful out here. The, uh, the animals, nature, uh, the snow-covered mountains. Uh, the ride up here was awesome. So we're enjoying the experience, trying to broaden these guys' horizons a little bit. Uh, this is one of the educational experiences they get from being college student athletes, so uh, we're certainly uh, enjoying being here in Alaska. SOCON hands out its postseason honors. Franklin native and former Robertson coach Mike Houston of the Citadel Coach of the Year, leading the Bulldogs to the SOCON co-title in the playoffs and a win at South Carolina. Three Catamounts make first team from coaches and media. Tight end Tyler Sexton, the East Henderson alum. Detrez Newsom, Western's 1,000-yard back. Linebackers Caleb Hawkins. Daniel Riddle. Middle, Riddle was a media pick, as was punter Ian Berryman. Quarterback Troy Mitchell was a second-team pick. 